John Castle was uh, inspiring to me personally as just a human being. He, I think he inspired a lot of people during the course of his life. You know, he, um, he, he was a man who lived by his principles. Um, I think if he believed something, he, he lived by that. Um, he was the original captain of Greenpeace's Rainbow Warrior, which was an anti-whaling vessel, you know, that went all around the world uh, fighting the whaling companies. Um, and he, for the latter stage of his life, in addition to working with Greenpeace for a long period, he dedicated uh, quite a bit of time to Sea Watch as a volunteer captain because he felt like it was the right thing to do near the end of his life and that um, who, who better to, to give of their skills than, than a captain, right, in this sort of situation. And so you meet him, you get on this boat, you see that he's your captain, and what do you think right away as a filmmaker? Well... You know, he stepped, he stepped onto the boat, and we originally thought we would be, you know, sort of marshalling the story around someone else, uh, but then she couldn't go on this particular mission. And so we really didn't know how we were going to tell the story, but when he stepped on the boat and, and spoke for the first time, um, I felt like I was in the presence of a poet, uh, and, and that really resonated with me. I thought, you know, he not only is this person who just volunteers his great skill set, you know, over and over again, but he's eloquent and he's educated and he can speak really sort of lovingly about the craft of what he does. Did he, uh, I mean, he does it within the film. I imagine he did this for you as a filmmaker, but inspire a little bit of hope in the face of this great tragedy. Yeah, he certainly did in me, you know, um, uh, as soon as I saw he was the captain of the vessel, you know, it inspired confidence was one thing, right? <laughs> because, you know, w when someone's out drowning on the water and you have a choice to make between saving that person or saving three people over here, you want someone who is in control, one, and who has the experience of having been in a similar situation before. And John had both those things. He really, he could make those difficult judgment calls um, in a split second without thinking. So, so that, w that inspired confidence in the entire crew, I think. But more than that, you know, um, John was an optimist despite this really difficult work he was doing. And, you know, I'll, I'll never forget some of the, the moments I was fortunate to have with him on the bridge late at night, you know, um, because when you're on a vessel like this, you know, you have to stay on watch and you, you, you do these watches. And... Um, we would spend late hours just talking about books and talking about poetry and talking about all these things that inspired us both and kept us going despite the nature of the work. 